Of course, sketching nature can mean anything from a landscape to a botanical to a field study of a weed or an insect. For this particular one, though, I am going to do a quick sketch of my basil plant because basil is about my favorite. And I'm going to use a pencil to just capture the overall shapes that I am looking at. And you can actually jump right in with watercolor if you prefer. And sometimes I do. But in this case, I'm just in the mood to have a little guideline for myself. And it's absolutely your choice. Whatever you want to do works just fine. We're going to get some backgrounds on this one, but when they're controlled and you're planning on them, they're rather pleasant, actually. Remember, this is your journal, and it's a record of something that you like. In this case, I absolutely love basil. But you choose whatever it is that captures your interest. And you can lift some areas like this with that wrung out brush. Sort of like we did when we were trying to make a flat wash, except these are on purpose. You can also do that with the tissue itself if you want. Just a, a little blot here and there. If you want to control it more, you can make yourself an edge like this. Oops! <laughs> and watch where you put your brush. Like that. And also we talked about sharpening the end of your brush so that you can scratch back into the wash to make lines. Interesting textures. Ooh, picked up a cat hair. That's unusual. See how that's making darker lines now? Just gives it a little nice texture. I'll put some up here too. You don't have to do it on every leaf or every place you see one in nature. This is not a botanical drawing or rendering. It's just a sketch for a journal. Now while I've got some nice green here, I believe I'll use some of this lighter color. Oops, she said, making it darker, and make a nice border. It can be wiggly if you like, which I do. And if you want to add a little interest to it while it's wet, you can flood in a little of the other color, one of the other colors. This is the phthalo blue, just to give it some variation. And I'm going to flood in a bit of lighter yellow here and there. Oops, would have been nice to stay within the line, but oh well. This is not kindergarten. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. If you find you've managed to put your hand in your wash like I did there, don't panic. It is your journal after all, and you can add some interesting spatter and make it look like it was on purpose. It was, wasn't it? I'm sure it was. I meant to do that. Let's vary the color here and there. Okay, I like that. Oops, there's another place I got a bit of a mess, so we'll just hide that with some spatter too. This is my little bristle brush. It was very inexpensive. And what makes uh, spatter sometimes interesting is to blot it here and there so that you don't get too much of the same color and try to make your spots different colors too. One of my friends does these wonderful big from a distance drops like I hope this is gonna work. Oops, like that. Oh, that was pretty. I think I'll put one up here too in a slightly different green. 
oops, didn't go where I wanted it to, and so you can pick it up really quickly with your uh, tissue. I always keep a tissue nearby because I always seem to goof. Well, where'd that go? Oh, we'll just flick it off my finger like that. That worked. Okay, we'll let this dry now. And by the way, if you want to make a little finer line than you might be able to get with your um, brush end, you can come back in while it's still wet with your uh, mechanical pencil point, which is quite fine, and it will bruise the paper and make a darker line too, but a finer one. Kind of a neat effect. If you want to speed things up a little bit, you can use a little handheld um, hair dryer like this and just keep it at about 18 inches from your work and keep it moving when you're drying. Obviously I am not at the moment, but that's how you do that. Sometimes a little bit of lettering adds a lot to a journal page too. So I'm going to try to letter in basil here. This is not my strong suit, but I like the way it looks. So I keep trying. And because it's watercolor, I'm having fun with letting the colors change with each letter like this. It seems to need something more, doesn't it? Let's give it an exclamation point. And I think I need a larger dot on my eye. Okay, and because I've used a little bit of different color, I'm going to come back in here and pick up a little more of that burnt sienna to kind of pull things together. And I might actually flood a little green into this corner. I love being able to do that with watercolor. It's nice when the colors blend where they touch. It's more spontaneous looking. And a little bit more burnt sienna over in this area. Spot on that leaf. Maybe a spot on that one. And we'll let it dry again. Since this is a journal page, you may choose to add a little bit more text. So I am going to do just that. Move my other things out of my way here. Okay, let's see. Basil makes me think of pesto. Tomato sauce. Oops, no room, so I'll say tomatoes. And misspell it. <laughs> Um, let's see, soup, salad, bravo for basil, oops, now we need that exclamation point, see? Okay, that was a fun page, hope you enjoyed it.